Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack, it's not a toy. I've got a few updates on some things that I've bought lately that I wanted to kind of tack on to the last video that I put up a week or so ago. So sorry for the delay in having an update, but uh, last video you saw the new suit that I got, the uh, Nomex variety. I uh, have it here compared to my True Spec that I've been using for years. Uh, in the mail over the last week, I got my delivery from GB Fan Shop. So inside here, I've got my patches for the new one. So this one, the name badge is significantly shorter. It fits pretty much right over where that um, Velcro plate is right now. Let's compare it over here to that one. So we'll see if I like that. I might see if I can get one somewhere made somewhere else um, that's more similar to what I had here. But you know what? If that's where it's going to go, it fits just right above the pocket right there. I wouldn't have to manipulate it and move it around if it was any longer. So it might be about what it needs to be. So there's that. Set that down and then I got the Ghostbusters one logo. Some people get the ones that um, there are sellers that make them that are more accurate to the way they looked on the actual suit in the movie, the first movie, to where it didn't look exactly like the logo that we're used to seeing on all the products that come out. It was more of a handmade type deal. And people like to replicate that and use that to put on the sleeve. Um, nothing wrong with that, but I kind of like having the one that looks like what people are used to seeing because it's one of those things of knowing your audience. Most people that are going to have a look at this are going to recognize this look. And if they see the one where it might be a little bit misshapen to match what was actually in the movie, they're going to think that it wasn't made with as much skill or might be kind of a knockoff version when actually it's more accurate to the movie. So that's why I'd rather have the one that looks like what people are expecting to see. So that will go obviously on the right shoulder over there when all things are said and done. So we'll have those sewn on and this is going to be kind of a Christmas present to myself. So I've got that and then I've got one more thing to show you. All right, if you remember right before Halloween, I inadvertently killed my battery and wasn't able to have the lights and sounds on my Proton Pack for Halloween this year. So I did get the new uh, Blue Brick battery, had it charged up and reinstalled the new one in the pack now. And so the process is similar to the way I had it before. I do have to pull out the ribbon cable to access the button to be able to turn on power to the back itself. So I'll just demonstrate that here. So this is the hole where the ribbon cable goes in. So I just have it capped off with a piece of tape there, just some electric tape, just so it makes it go in and out easier when it is time to cover that hole and put it in there the right way. And then here on this side is where the button is and you see some of the other wires in there. So the battery, let's see if I can do it holding my phone, it's right here, push it with my middle finger. There, switched on. So now power has to be turned on with the switch down here. All right, for the shaky camera. All right. So now I have 
power to it and I should be able to flip the switch here. And so everything seems to be working with the sounds. I've got the the uh, speaker turned up to full volume, not getting any weird uh, popping or the issues that I was having with the, the dead battery causing it to not to, to work as well. So let's turn on the actual sounds of the pack. There's your power up sequence. Let's fire off some shots. <laughs> are working as they're supposed to be so very happy that the battery was the only issue I had to deal with and uh, we'll just have to live with remembering to turn it off here through the ribbon cable hole and then use the XLR plate for turning it on and off when I'm using it multiple times a day and then one more thing that I wanted to add as you see my Lego sets here in the background uh, super excited about the new uh, Ghostbusters Ecto-1 put out by Lego. Uh, I have one on its way here now, ordered it online, and so it'll be here in a few days, but I uh, won't be doing any videos or anything on it yet because it's going to be my big Christmas present for me under the tree. So uh, right after Christmas, I plan on doing a video series uh, over the build of putting it together. Um, might break it down into individual bags and that way you can just watch different parts and not have to sit through a long video and uh, I have a few other little things I plan to add to it as well so uh, look forward to that but know that it won't be until after Christmas until I get started with that but I'm super excited about it and uh, look forward to sharing that excitement with you guys so again thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos soon